All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Frosted Phone Rebel Flex by Everything Apple Pro for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So let's go ahead and get into the box. So a lot of this is going to be fairly similar to the Gen 4 that we had already reviewed, but let's go through the features of this. So you do still have those same uh, impact absorbing TPE bumpers. You do have the raised corners. The sides are exposed on this for, it says maximum holding comfort, now an even sleeker design. You do have the same sculpted pinky rest and you do have the inner and outer anti-scratch, anti-fingerprint matte texture. So with this case, you do again get a tempered glass screen protector included, which we will take a look at, as well as the exposed sides again, the bumper linings, it is UV resistant, so it will not yellow because this is a sort of clear case. It's a frosted back, but it is kind of clear. Uh, it is MagSafe compatible, which the MagSafe is insane on this. It's also got that frosted finish, make the back feel like matte glass. Uh, it does have the aggressive edge guards, the top and the bottom. It, it does say that it is easy to swipe in all directions and made with premium materials. So let's take a look at the box. Better yet, let's get the phone case out of the box actually. So that's the contents. So let's start off with the top. So in here you do get these very thin and you can kind of see them. They are these protectors and you might be able to see them better when they're on the table. They're these protectors that can go on the sides of your phone to protect it from little scratching from like your keys or anything that kind of rubs against it. I'm not going to be installing these in the video because I'm not really going to be using these. So we'll put these to the side. Next, let's get into the rest of the packaging. All you have is this stuff. So you do have the case and here is your tempered glass screen protector. Let's take that out. You do get the little installation kit as well as your full coverage tempered glass screen protector. So very good that uh, everything Apple Pro includes that with the case. So it is a one-stop shop like Flossie says. So let's take a look at the inside of the case. So we've got your MagSafe right here, which this MagSafe is incredible. We'll do the MagSafe test later and I'll show you. You do have the alignment magnet with it. Now, as you can see, the inside of it does have those same blue TP absorbing material as the Gen 4 does. And that's pretty much it for the inside of the case. It does have this really weird shape, but we'll get into that here in a second. So let's go ahead and put the Space Black iPhone 14 Pro Max in here. Now, the way that I've been doing it is obviously there's no sides really. So I'm going to align it here with the bottom, make sure that's in there nice and tight and just click that off on the top and you got the case on. So let's take a look around the case. On the left hand side you are completely exposed so that is the thing about this case it does have your sides completely out for the most part besides these little edges on the top you do get a little bit of phone rebel branding but the rest of it is enclosed on the right side you do have your power button as well as your 5g antenna again completely open right side and on the bottom you do have your accurate cutouts as well as for your lightning port, the cutout there. So let's take a look. You do have this screen protection over here with these corners. So you're more than welcome to go ahead and set it down on the desk. It'll be good to go. This thing is not getting scratched by anything on a flat surface, so you're good there. Uh, when you do get to the back of it, you got this very slim, I don't know if you can see it right there. It's very slim style camera protector right there and it will protect your camera for the most part but you do also have these legs all around so that you're able to set this phone completely down and it'll be good whether you set it face down or face up uh, whatever's on the bottom or on the ground on the surface that you're laying it on should not be scratching it up so let's take a look at how this case feels so i'm not a huge fan of the way that this case feels and i'll tell you why so number one on the back you've got that matte finish now on the on the back of the iphone it does have the matte as well but i feel like it's almost a little bit less slippery on the back of the iphone 
than it is with this case because the thing the oils from your fingers kind of get on the back of the right of the iphone by itself and you don't have to worry about slipping or anything like that because it kind of gets a little bit of texture whereas this i've noticed this back is kind of slippery and that is something to take note on so when it comes to the comfort of using this case that's where my biggest issue lies with it so this i have not been able to find a good way to use this case for it to be comfortable now every time when i hold it in one hand like this usually my hand ends up getting tired because right here if you can kind of see the edge so here's the end of the edge of the phone and then this edge right here of the case kind of tapers down towards the back of it however it's got this really really sharp edge all around here as same thing with the other side by the way completely same thing and you do have these very sharp corners right here as well as these divots and on both sides of the phone top and bottom and it just makes it kind of uncomfortable to hold the phone you know, so it's, it, when I'm holding it like this, it's supposed to feel like a naked iPhone, but it really doesn't. And it almost makes it more uncomfortable to just hold in your hand. So whereas you're using something such as the Gen 4, you are able to use that. You've got the sides completely closed in. It's nice and comfortable to use. It doesn't have these edges going all around where it's, you got a little bit of sharpness here, sharpness there, sharpness there. It's not very comfortable to hold in the hand, whether you're holding it down here. Now, again, that pinky rest area is sculpted nice. It's, it doesn't hurt your pinky, but the rest of your hand, just you got sharp edges here, right back here. It's just very uncomfortable to hold all around. And I, I can't find a way to hold it that would make it comfortable. So with that being said, I'm not a huge fan of the way that this hand, that this case, excuse me, feels in the hand. It's very non-ergonomic. It, it's a very cool idea. I like what it's meant to do, but I just don't think that it does that well. But we're not finished with the review. Let's test this MagSafe because that's actually my favorite part about this case is how excellent this MagSafe is. So let's start off with what I think is probably the weakest item that I have, and that is the Apple MagSafe leather wallet. In here, all I have is just this little card that comes with it to protect it from getting smushed but you can attach it you can see your magsafe animation right there and this magnet is pretty good it took me a little bit of force to just get that off you can sit here and shake this and it's not going anywhere this magnet on the phone rebel is just great so feel free to use your magsafe wallets with it once putting it in and out of your pocket will not make this come off you got to really give it a little bit of force to get it off so next, let's test the Apple MagSafe battery pack. So put it on. Now this is a little bit of a better magnet. As you can see, you get your MagSafe animation right there. And this MagSafe is probably middle grade on the uh, MagSafe battery pack. You do have the alignment magnet on here, so that makes it nice. And you can shake this. This isn't going anywhere. The magnets on the MagSafe battery pack as well as on the case are going to make it super secure. you got to really kind of push it off and then finally let's test the pop socket so i do have a magsafe pop socket here this is an everyday use for me and this is going to be incredible because this magsafe is super strong already on the pop socket as well as the strength of the magnet from the phone rebel you've got a great combination so you go ahead and align that alignment magnets on both take that and I mean, I can shake this as hard as I possibly can to the point where I can even shake this table and finally was able to get it off. That's how good this MagSafe is on the Phone Rebel Flex Frosted. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. So with everything being said about the Phone Rebel Flex from Everything Apple Pro in the Frosted back, I can't say I do recommend this case. I, I cannot recommend it just because this is something that you expect to protect your phone and to feel good using all the time. It will protect your phone. By all means, this has excellent drop protection. It's very protective around the sides, but this being open, if you're already trying to use a phone case, you might as well just close it off, in my opinion, because otherwise you've got all this. So if you do have something else in your pocket, clinking around 
those little film protectors will only do so much. You're better off getting something like the Gen 4, same phone company, same thickness, everything almost looks the same except the sides. Whereas on this one, you've got these nice closed in sides. It's actually pretty comfortable to hold and I can definitely recommend this case significantly more over the Phone Rebel Flex case. So if you are interested in checking this out, I will leave a link to it in the description for the iPhone 14 Pro Max and all of the other iPhones that I'm able to find it for in the 14 series. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like it, and I'll catch you in the next video.